Well, the consecration or ordination, if you'd like to call it, is a, a ceremony that constitutes uh, basically the fullness of the sacrament of holy orders. I mean, uh, holy orders are made up of three degrees as a, as a deacon, priest, or a bishop. And, and the ceremony tomorrow will um, make him actually a bishop-elect, and he's not a bishop of Gibraltar until the installation in Gibraltar on the 24th of September. There will be a, a representation of clergy from Gibraltar here, and also three consecrating bishops, His Eminence Cardinal Vincent Nichols, His Excellency Charles Cicluna, Archbishop of Malta, and of course the Bishop of Hallam. And the Archbishop of Westminster involved in this ordination, a high-profile member of the Church, so is this something quite customary? No, it is. It's a customary thing for, for such um, clergy to attend. It, it is a, it's at a very important ceremony within the Church. It is also one that, that is derived from uh, the very origins of, of, the Catholic, of, the, of the Christian Church, of, and of course, more especially in the Catholic um, tradition. There is, uh, to, to, to give it its, its full historical weight, I mean, there is a, a moment in the, in the consecration where, as a sign of collegiality, all the bishops in attendance will impose hands on the bishop-elect, and that's basically keeping the link from uh, the early days of the Church to the present day. The um, idea of, of being in, uh, ordained a bishop in his home t turf is, is one that must be very close and dear to him. And remember that the installation proper, which seals his position, will be held in Gibraltar in a couple of weeks' time. But the cathedral uh, at Medina, which is the old uh, capital of Malta, is an astonishingly beautiful building, and you'll see um, on the broadcast tomorrow the internal um, decoration is astonishing. It'll be, um, it was the original cathedral until the British arrived and, and moved and the capital to Valletta, and there is a co-cathedral which is equally or more beautiful. But an interesting anecdote of a lot of the buildings in Medina and in Malta in general is that the, the, the colour of the buildings are sort of a beautiful honey colour, which is exactly the same, made of the stone which was used to build the Sacred Heart Church in Gibraltar. There are many subtle links between Malta and Gibraltar, uh, but that's another story. <laughs> And how do you think Monsignor Zermitt will actually connect with the local clergy when we consider he's been away from Gibraltar for almost 20 years? Yes, he has been away since 98, but uh, you have to remember that during his time between 76 and 98, he was in touch with many uh, a wide cross-section of the community in Gibraltar. He taught, indeed, and served as chaplain to both boys' and girls' comprehensive schools. He served as a parish priest in two of the parishes in St. Teresa's, and then in the Sacred Heart Parish. He was also chaplain to a number of different organizations in the diocese. Uh, uh, he was uh, the bishop's delegate on the Religious Education Board for government schools, and also a member of the prison board, and he was indeed the prison chaplain. He certainly knows the ins and outs of Gibraltar. Uh, maybe he might have to come up to speed with the more recent changes, but I think uh, he's no stranger to the um, society that is Gibraltar.